Hi hey guys, I'm Nick from Electronic Arts, and I'm thrilled that today we have three amazing YouTubers that all play Galaxy of Heroes. Uh, we've got over here Cubs fan Han. Nice of you guys to drop by. We've got Crazy Excuses. From now on, you do as I tell you, okay? And we've got Nukin from Republic. I'm looking forward to completing your training. I want to start a guild. I've always wanted to start a guild. I don't know how to do it. I've never started one before. Where do I begin? Yeah, so as a new player, you definitely want to be in a guild in the first place because there's modes in the game that require you to be in a guild to start to collect resources and rewards in the game. For example, the newest mode, Territory Wars, actually requires you to have at least 25 people. And when you're building this guild, it's important to find people that have similar, similar goals and mm -hmm. um, play style, people who are more casual, people who are really hardcore. If you're like, I really want to tackle the Rancor, people like that. I would go, I think Reddit is, is big for that. There's a whole, there's a Discord server that you can link to on Reddit. You can find a bunch of other Discord servers. And for those of you who don't know, Discord is a third party chat app that is is very, very used in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. I think I'm on probably 30 Discord servers <laughs> for this game. <laughs> What are some pieces of, of advice, some tips, some tricks that you guys would offer to the other guilds on out there on uh, how to tackle territory wars effectively? In, in a group of you know 20 to 50 people, you're probably going to have at least one or two people that are super interested in this game mode. Just straight up and ask, you know, is anyone interested in kind of coordinating and, and being the, the territory war lead. And I actually agree with Nukin's sentiment about having a singular person who kind of leads that charge, in particular for territory battles. I remember when that first launched. And while we first figured out that game mode, we had, I would say, too many pots in the, what's that phrase? Too, what's many, that? Cooks too, too many, many cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I like too many pots. Too many pots <laughs> in the burner. Too many pots. Too many cooks in the kitchen. She's criticizing my grammar. No. <laughs> Came to be that there was one person who really knew what he was doing with territory battles. And so we just said, hey, you know what? Why don't you just why don't you just do it? You're the guy. And ever since then, territory battles have been infinitesimally better. Nukin, um, Crazy, and, and myself are all not just in guild leadership, we're in what we call community leadership, um, where we've got a collection of guilds that actually work together. I think one of the best parts about this game is the community mm. and having these chat. We have platforms a good community in this game. Is mm. the best way to access yeah. that. So even if you're a solo guild, um, getting ideas, especially in leadership from other guilds, is really important. There's a whole world. Wait, if you're not on Discord and you're playing Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, there's a whole world <laughs> that you don't know of yet that you need to come join. <laughs> In no way affiliated with Discord. Um, <laughs> we get really caught up with raids saying this is a good team. And people then think that they have to farm that team. And what I try to do is suggest types of teams or types of things to look at. Mm -hmm. And when territory battles, there's a lots of teams that people are talking about. And people might get stressed out thinking you're expecting them to farm all of that. But trying to put your expectations on your guild in a way that works with what their roster is, what yep. they have already in the game. If you're a guild leader, I, a, a big tidbit of advice I would give is to be really cognizant of if any of your officers are starting to feel burnt out. If anyone has too much burden on them. There's a particular officer who, who was handling everything. And I went to him, I said, you're doing a lot. How can we delegate this? What, what can we, who, who else could help you with this? And then we figure out, all right, so he's doing this, 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 and this. Let's have this person come in and take responsibilities one and two. And having other people aware of how things are done is essential because yeah. everyone will reach a point where something else is going on in real life. They just took on too much and they need a little bit of break. But you should at least have, as an officer or a guild leader, an understanding of what the plan is uh, because there's definitely going to be a lot of questions, especially in some of the newer game modes uh, so you, there's definitely <laughs> ways to bring them uh, together and to communicate. And once you start to socialize and uh, com communicate with your, your team, uh, you start to do better in the game. And the better you do, you feel like you're taking a step in the right direction. And that just builds camaraderie uh, with the rest of your teammates. And you actually start to enjoy the game even more because you're, you're tackling uh, heroic feats together. 
and you, you start to build a bond with your guild. Yep. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Um, be sure that you like and subscribe to all these guys' channel. They all put out some <laughs> really awesome content. Uh, thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.